Welcome to FM Education Academy, a place where quality content is provided to all students. It is on your request that we provide educational videos daily. So please, if you find this video helpful, then like this video, share this video with your friends and also please subscribe to this channel and turn the bell notification on. In today's video lecture, we will be discussing a question from the chapter functions from class 11 into first year 1A. The question is, second Roman, second question from exercise 1A. Which of the following are injections or surjections or bijections? Justify your answer. First bit, F is mapping from R to R defined by F of X is equal to 2X plus 1 by 3. Before discussing this question with you, I would like to uh, clear some of the concepts related to how to find out whether a function is injection, how to find out whether a function is surjection or how to find out whether a function is bijection. So let's start. Injection is also called a 1-1 one, one function. 1-1 one, one function. So actually what is injection? Suppose you have two functions, let us suppose. Okay. Let one function be A, okay, and other function be B. Now, let us suppose that A and B, okay, are two functions. Now, in this uh, function A, that is in this we have, let us suppose this is x1, x2, x3, and x4. And let us suppose here we have y1, y2, y3, y4, and y5. So let us suppose that this is my input and this is my output. So for this input x1, we are getting output y1. That is these both are mapped. Then for input x2, we are getting output y2. For input x3, we are getting output y3. For input x4, we are getting output y4. Then if y5 is not uh, there, that is if we are getting an output, okay, which is not being mapped with the input. This is left as it is, right? We are not able to map this with any input. Then that is called as injection. That is, this, if this, I suppose that if this is my range and this is my codomain, then if since we don't have any input for Y5 here, we can say that range is not equal to codomain. So in injection, remember that range will not be equal to codomain and one uh, output will be left as it is in one of the codomain okay then that is called as injection range is not equal to codomain and one wi-fi that is one output will be left as it is in the codomain the formula for this is if function f of x1 will be equal to function f of x2 then if x1 is equals to x2 we can say that the function is an injection function Okay, if we have f of x1 is equals to f of x2 and x1 becomes equal to x2, then we can say the function is injection. If f of x1 is equals to f of x2 but x1 is not equal to x2, then we will say that it is not an injection. I will explain you with an example. For example, the question is show that f of x is equals to 3x minus 2. So, in this, what we should do? We have to make f of x1 equal to f of x2. So, if f of x1 is equal to f of x2, what is f of x1? In place of this x substitute x1, that is f of x1. So, 3x1 minus 2 is equal to what is f of x2? In place of this x substitute x2, that is 3x2 minus 2. Now, minus 2 minus 2 will get cancelled. We have 3x1 is equal to 3x2. 3, 3 will also get cancelled. We have x1 is equal to x2. So, we are getting x1 is equal to x2 when f of x1 is equal to f of x2. So, therefore, we can say that this f of x is an what? Injective function or f of x is an injection. Understood what is injection? Now, let us go to what is surjection. So, surjection is also called as onto function. Okay. In surjection, let us suppose we have a codomain. Here also we will assume x1, x2, x3 and x4. And we will assume we have a range y1, y2, y3, y4. 
and we are able to map this x1 with y1, x2 with y2, x3 with y4, x4 with y4. That is, for every function in this set, we are able to have an answer in this set. Okay, see x2 to y2, x3 to y3, x4 to y4. Then we can say that it is a surjection. Nothing is left which is not which we are not getting the input, or nothing is left in this which we are not getting the output. Every function we are able to map with other function. That is called as surjection. So here we can say that codomain is equals to range or range is equals to codomain in case of surjection. Okay, every element in A is a being able to map with every element in B. That is range is equals to codomain. The formula for this is if y is equals to f of x, then x is also equal to y uh, x yeah x is also equal to f of y that is the formula so for example i'll give you a fun, uh, form example show uh, that f of x is equals to phi x plus 2 is a surjection so how can i show that i'll assume that this f of x is equals to y so if f of x is equals to y then what is f of x phi x plus 2 so y is equals to 5x plus 2 now what I'll do, I'll bring 5x is equals to y as it is, plus 2 I'll take that side, it becomes minus 2. So x is equals to y minus 2 by 5 I got. Now what I'll do is, for y is equals to 5x plus 2, I got the value of x, right? I'll assume that let x uh, y is equals to 0 and find out the value of x. What will x be equal to if, if I uh, put y as 0 here, 0 minus 2 is minus 2. So I'll get... Uh, x is equals to minus 2 by 5. So, again I'll assume if y is equals to 1. So, substitute y is equals to 1 here. 1 minus 2 is minus 1. So, we get x is equals to minus 1 by 5 if y is equals to 1. So, we are able to see that for every function of y, we are getting a function of x. That is for every input, we are getting an output here. Here also for every input, we are getting an output. That is for every y1, we are getting x1. For every y2, we are getting x2. Therefore, this is also a surjection. Okay. Understood. And then what is bijection? If a function satisfies both, that is if a function is injection as well as surjection, then the function is said to be a bijection. By the name bi, we can understand. If it is a injection as well as surjection, it will be a bijection. So, bijection means it has to be surjection as well as it has to be injection. I should satisfy both these formulas. If f of x1 is equal to f of x2, then x1 is equal to x2. This formula and also it has to satisfy this. If y is equal to f of x, then x is equal to f of y. Okay, then it will be a bijection. Let us solve the question which we were going to solve. As you can see, this is my question, second Roman, second question, which of the following are injections? It is asking uh, which is injection, which is surjection or which is bijection. We have to also give a proof, okay, like I showed you the formulas. And the question is, f is mapping from R to R defined by f of x is equals to 2x plus 1. So first, what we have to find out? We have to find out whether it is an injection or not. So, to find if f of x is surjection what is the formula remember if we have to find out if it is surjection we have to see whether f of x1 is equals to f of x2 we have to keep and we have to see whether we get x1 is equals to x2 so f of x1 means in place of x substitute x1 so 2 x1 plus 1 by 3 is equals to f of x2 means in place of x substitute x2 so 2 x2 plus 1 by 3 3, 3 will get cancelled. We are left with 2x1 plus 1 is equals to 2x1. 2x2 plus 1. Plus 1 plus 1 will get cancelled. We are left with 2x1 is equals to 2x2. 2, 2 will get cancelled. We are left with x1 is equals to x2. So, we had assumed that f of x1 is equals to f of x2 and we got x1 is equals to x2. So, we can say that this function f of x is equals to 2x plus 1 by 3 is, a, is an injection. Therefore, f of x is an Injection. So, this is our justification which it told me to justify is an injection. Why f of x is an injection? Because if f of x1 is equal to f of x2, then x1 should be equal to x2 and we got that, right? We are able to prove x1 is equal to x2. Now, what we have to find out whether the function is a surjection or not. So, to find if f of x is a surjection. 
how to find out if f of x1 is a surjection? So to find if f of x is an inject, a surjection, what I have to do? I'll assume that this f of x is equals to 2x plus 1 by 3 is equals to y. So let f of x is equals to y, I'll assume. So if f of x is equals to y, then 2x plus 1 by 3 is also equal to y. Right. If y is equals to f of x, then y is equals to 2x plus 1 by 3. Now I have to find out x, right? How to find out x? Take this 3 that side, it becomes 3y is equals to 2x plus 1. Right, or we can write 2x is equals to 3y minus 1, or we can write x is equals to 3y minus 1 by 2, which belongs to a real number r. So, we took the function y and we got the value of x. Okay, so what we can say, we can say that for y belonging to r, that is, I'll show you what I'm telling. That we are having a real number r right here and here also we are having a real number r. One function we have is x, another function we are having is y. We got x is equals to how much? 3y minus 1 by 2. And y is equals to what we have? We have y is equals to 2x plus 1 by 3. So now we have to show that this function is having a solution in this or not. So actually I have taken f of x is equals to y and I got the value of x is equals to 3y minus 1 by 2. So for y belonging to R, I can say there exist what? What? 3y minus 1 by 2 also, no? For y belonging to R, that is for y belonging to R, there exists 3y minus 1 by 2 also belongs to R. For y belonging to R, there exists 3y minus 1 by 2 also belongs to R. Okay, now what I'll do? I have this f of x, right? f of x is equals to how much I got? 2x plus 1 by 3 I have, right? In place of this x, I'll substitute this value of 3y, 3y minus 1 by 2 and I'll see whether I'm getting f of x is equals to y or not. So in place of x, substitute this 3y minus 1 by 2, 2 into 3y minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 I'm having. 2 1s are 2, 2 1s are 3. What I'll get? 3y minus 1 plus 1 by 3 minus 1 plus 1 will get cancelled, okay, I'll get and I'll get 3y by 3, if I get 3y by 3, again I can cancel y, y and what did I have here, f of x, so I can say f of x is equals to y, so initially I took f of x is equals to y and then uh, I assumed this y as 2x plus 1 by 3, I got the value of x, so I said that for y belonging to r, there also exist x belonging to r that I can say because I got f of x is equals to y. So y is equals to f of x. So I can say that since y is equals to f of x and x is equals to f of y, I can say that this is a surjection. Therefore, f of x is equals to 2x plus 1 by 3 is also a surjection. Why is it a surjection? I just now told you. See, because for x we are able to map with y, right? For a function x belongs to r, then y is also belonging to r only. Because we have solved and sh uh, showed you x is equal to 3 by minus 2. Again, if you substitute in this uh, y is equal to 2x plus 1 by 3, we are getting y is equal to f of x. So, we can say that it is a surjection. Now, if f of x is a surjection and injection both, I can say since f of x is an injection and surjection, therefore it is also a what? Bijection. So, we can say what is it in the three options if it is asking whether it is surjection or whether it is injection or whether it is bijection, I can say it is a bijection because it is both injection and surjection. This completes our first answer. Hope you have found this video helpful. If you have found this video helpful, then please like, share and subscribe and share the video channel with your friends. Thank you.